Hi, good morning everyone. This morning I was talking with someone on Twitter that announced they had they were on their 100 days of code journey, which I think is kind of neat. We didn't have that when I learned how to program. I had to buy a magazine or find some kind of way to learn how to do stuff. But anyway, uh, the person was announcing they were learning how to work with numbers, and I thought I'd, I'd be helpful and suggest my NuGet package, Numeric Helper, which is part of datajuggler.ultimatehelper.core for .NET Core. I also have a .NET Framework version I'll post in the description. But what I want to show is is how to parse numbers, but when I, when I suggested it, the person replied they didn't know how to add a NuGet package, so this is going to be a little bit for beginners, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you because that's something you're going to want to learn how to use because NuGet is a way for people, developers, you know, have libraries of code that's already been written, it's been tested, used in numerous projects, sometimes developed by, you know, lots of people. And it's it's better than having to write code every time you need to do something. So I'm going to go ahead and first show you, I'm going to create a console application, which is not my normal, sorry, I got a power, PowerPoint. Let me create a new .NET Core app, which I came from a .NET framework background, but I've been using Blazor for almost a year, so I'm a little more experienced in .NET Core than I was, but I'm still a .NET framework at heart. Okay, and I am going to just call this project, oh, let's just see, we'll call it numeric, I think my brain's not awake enough to, we'll just say um, numeric demo, sorry, not very awake, just Saturday morning. Okay, so give this project just a second to add, excuse me, to load, if I can get my brain to function here. I already made one video for another program. Okay, so I've got my little program. So now what you want to do to add a NuGet package, right click on your solution, say manage NuGet packages for solution. This is going to come up. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to type data juggler dot I already have it in my little recent list, but you can type that. It's datajuggler.ultimatehelper.core, and I want to just go ahead and select that and install it into my project. So you click install, and you get a little warning. These are all the libraries that this project depends on. So I'm sorry to this is you know don't mean to for experienced developers. I don't mean to re, you know be kind of uh, redundant, but this person was very new and they don't speak English very well. I don't believe so. I wanted to be kind of little uh, not talk as fast as I sometimes do okay and this is just a Visual Studio is giving me a warning you don't need this args I'm not going to go into how to get rid of that message at this video but I will show you how to we're going to add a using statement I will show you also just if you want to look at here dependencies packages and here's the package we just added and underneath this this is all the packages that this project depends on so just to show you let me spin that a little bit better Okay, so this all gets put into this DLL here, and it's now part of your project. So what I'm going to do here is say using datajuggler.ultimatehelper.core, and now you can use any of the classes in the library. And I'll post a link in the description to all the classes that are in this library, but it's just a class I've been accumulating this project for about 12 years now, and finally put it on NuGet about 8 or 10 ago. So anyway, what I want to do here is just say, I'll just create a couple of variables here. I want to... Uh, we'll call this strings to parse. So the, I'm just going to create a couple of different types of numbers that you might want to try to parse. We'll call this like 135.18. I'll create. Uh, Got to give the variable a name. Sorry. Uh, we'll just call this. Oh, uh, we'll call this uh, amount. If I could type amount equals. Still can't type. Okay. And then we're going to say string. Oh, we'll just make up some tax amount equals another. Okay, now I want to do a full number. I'll just say a year. I'm going to make a year will be, oh, we'll make it 2020. And then I want to do a bad number here. I want to say, I'm going to put a month, but I want to make it a month that doesn't actually exist. I'll like spell January wrong on purpose. So I'm just purposely spelling January spelled wrong on purpose. Okay, so now what I want to do, I want to try to parse these numbers into four different variables, and I'll just do this real quick to make it uh, simple. So I'll just say parse into doubles or integers. So the amount we're going to do as a double. So we'll just say double 
amount. Actually, I'm going to call this amount string or something to just so I can uh, tell these apart because I want to use the actual name for the, uh, the the numeric value. Okay, and we'll go with month string just to make those real obvious. Okay, in amount, we're going to say numeric helper dot parse double. And then the first thing we're going to pass in is amount string. And then we're going to, the default value, I'm going to give it a zero, which means if it can't parse the number, it's going to return zero. And if an error occurs trying to return, trying to parse the, the number, it's going to return this value and I'll give it a number one, negative one. So that way we can tell the difference between couldn't parse and an error occurred trying to parse. And those could be different. And you might have a reason to do something different with those. Okay, and now I'll just say double, ah, ah, we'll leave the there. I'll just call this uh, tax. And we'll make tax, tax string do the same thing. I didn't mean to change that. And then now I'll just do double year. Oh, this is going to be an int. Sorry. Ah, okay. Uh, sometimes Visual Studio just randomly decides to type stuff. Int year equals numeric helper dot parse integer this time instead of double and because it's not going to have any decimal places and then here we're going to use the year string and again I'm going to use the same zero and negative one your use case might have different um, default values and error values and then finally I'll give it a an int month and we'll try to uh, numeric helper dot parse integer month string same values and now we will just run our program just say console like a type again dot right line and I will say amount or I'll just say equal that's fine plus and I want to say amount dot to string okay write out each value and I don't work in console applications very often, so this is kind of a fish out of water for my experience. But okay, and I'll say tax equals tax dot two string. And something you'll learn to do a lot of if you program is copy and paste. It just it's you have to always have to be careful because you can make errors, but saves a lot of retyping. Okay, I meant to do this part. Okay, do that again, and I'll do one more. And what we're gonna do here is year string. Not year string, year, sorry. Year. Ah, I don't know why I did that. And then month. Month and month. There. And now I'm going to put add a read line so the program doesn't end. So I'm going to say console.readline. And that's about my console uh, knowledge I remember. Okay. So I'm going to just run this program and we're going to see what happens. Are you ready? Here's what I expect to happen, just to show you. But we should see amount string and tax string and year I mean you know all get parsed and then month string should come up as either zero or negative one and to be honest I don't know which one it's uh, gonna be I think it's gonna be zero but could be negative one are you ready go okay and our little program just ran argument missing okay so that's uh, oh I have an extra comma there sorry that's kinda good to see though in case you get an error okay so now I'll build again and I'm gonna run. Let's see if we're okay. Let's check our value. We got a negative one, so that couldn't be parsed. I hope I'll zoom in. You you can see that. But so those are all of our values got parsed. Now I'll uh, this code is pretty simple. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna zoom in on the screen for just a second, so in case you want to type this. Uh, I could post this on the. Uh, GitHub or somewhere if you need me to, but I just wanted to, this was a real quick video. I've got to make some lunch and do a few things this morning, but I wanted to post this. Hopefully this helps you learn how to use NuGet and also how to work with numbers. All right. Thanks for watching.